एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम part 1 of this lecture we did discuss uh, the conditions uh, uh, where uh, system has a unique solution then in what uh, situation system will have infinitely many solutions and no solution condition we discuss hello everyone i am dr seema thakran so if you want to study system of linear equations in detail please refer to the book by s chand publishing the ebook link is given in the description box uh, given below now one example uh, i am taking and in that example you will see all the three conditions i'll be discussing uh, in one question so the question is find the values of lambda and mu such that the following system has number 1 no solution number 2 unique solution number 3 infinitely many solutions so in one question and the question is the system of linear equation is x plus y plus z x plus 2y plus 5z is 6 so the system is x plus y plus z this 6 this is 10 so x plus y plus z 6 x plus 2y plus 5z is 10 then the third equation is 2x plus 3y plus lambda z equal to mu this is the system of linear equations and you can see lambda and mu are unknown so the values of lambda and mu will be deciding that the system has no solution unique solution infinitely many solutions so in one problem all the possible situations will be discussing how to start with the solution now very first step is just the same and that is write the system in this form so let us consider the system as ax equal to b and my a will be the coefficient matrix it will be 1 1 1 1 2 5 2 3 <laughs> lambda my x will be the unknown matrix and my b will be 6 10 mu the very first step is just the same that you have to make below diagonal element zero so below diagonal elements when you will make zero what are the operations so this one how you will make this one as zero so r2 just subtract r2 uh, minus r1 you will get zero because one minus one is zero then when you will do this you will get one 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 then you are subtracting r1 from r2 so the second uh, row elements will be 1 4 the third is same then x y z okay uh, this you have to take care that if you are applying the operations you operations you apply in matrix only in this and this matrix don't touch this x y z here you don't do anything uh, if you will apply the operations here also you are going with the wrong method with the wrong concept then 6 R two minus R one, so this will give you four because ten minus six is four and mu. Now, which element to make zero? This element because this is my diagonal. And two, how to make this two zero? And this is very clear that you will be using this element. So what I'll do? I just uh, do the twice of this element and subtract it from R three. So R three goes to R three minus two R one. and i'll get the transformation as the converted matrix will be 1 1 1 0 1 4 because i'm not touching r1 r2 because my operations are in r3 only 
So 2 minus 2, 0. Then 3 minus 2, 1. Lambda minus 2. Then this is as it is I am copying or I am writing. And then this is 6, 4. And uh, R3 minus 2, R1. So mu minus 12. Now last part to do. And this is diagonal. This is my diagonal. So, this element I have to make 0 now. The final element below diagonal to make 0. So, just simply R3 minus R2. You can see if you subtract 1 minus 1, it will become 0. So, what will be the trans, uh, transformed uh, matrix? It will be first matrix is just, first row is same. Second row is also same. But third row will be 0, 0, then lambda minus 6. And then this x, y, z. Then 6, 4. And R3 minus R2. So it will give you R3 minus R2. So mu minus 16. Because uh, you have to just subtract now. So after applying these operations, we have got uh, uh, these this, this, this final uh, uh, system of linear equations. Now what I will do? I will consider A matrix separately because I have to discuss all the three cases and I have to, if there is a solution, I have to find that solution also. So what is my A matrix? This is my A matrix and what is my A augmented? It means I will combine both uh, A and B. So when I am combining, I am getting this uh, a, first I will write A matrix, then I will write, so this is the final A augmented B. Only discussion is on A and B. So I will be just starting with, now you see, lambda values, either lambda will be 6 or it will not be 6. If lambda is 6, because discussion can be done only uh, because lambda minus 6, so if lambda is 6, it will be 0. If it is not 6, it will be non-zero. So, the only two, two discussions, either lambda will be 6 or lambda will be not equal to 6. So, I am making a matrix. Lambda will be 6 or lambda will be not equal to 6. The same thing here. Mu will be either 16 or mu will be not equal to 16. All the cases I am taking and I am discussing. So, how many possibilities? For lambda 6, 2 possibilities. For lambda not equal to 6, again 2 possibilities. So it means 4 cases I will be taking and I will be discussing ki among those 4 cases, what are the situations unique, uh, not unique and all. So first case I am discussing where I am taking lambda 6 and lambda not equal to, oh sorry, mu equal to, for lambda 6, First is mu equal to 16, very first case. What it will give me? If lambda is 6, this complete row will be 0. Okay, so how many non-zero rows? Different non-zero rows. So rank of A will be 2 if lambda is 6 because this will be complete 0, number of non-zero rows 2. If mu is 16 and lambda is 6, this is 0, this is also 0. It means this complete row will be 0. It means rank of uh, a augmented B will be how much? Rank of A augmented B will be again 2. So both are same but number of unknowns we have 3. Rank of A is equal to rank of A augmented B but this is number of unknowns which is 3 and in part 1 we have already discussed that such a situation gives number infinitely many solutions. So how many solutions? infinitely many solutions. Another name is that if you have a solution, infinitely many solutions, we call it consistent uh, system, consistent word we use most uh, commonly. Then number two is, now the next uh, condition I will be discussing, I will be taking lambda 6 but mu I am not taking as uh, equal to 16. So second is lambda is 6, mu is not equal to 16. Now let's see what is the situation in this case. So if lambda is 6, rank of A we will discuss. 
rank of A will be because this is 6 it will be 0 1 complete row 0 it means rank is 2 if lambda is 6 it means this is 0 but this is non zero it means if this is non zero this this will be considered in a this will be con considered as non zero row it means this time rank of a augmented b is 3 rank of a augmented b is 3 clearly see this is 2 this is 3 not equal so what is the situation no solution it is case of no solution now third part I will discuss here. So my third part will be lambda not equal to 6 mu is 16. So if lambda is not equal to 6 it means this is considered to be non-zero row. It means rank of A is 3. Rank of A augmented B will again be 3. Why? Because this is non-zero. So 100% the this will be a non-zero row whether this is 0 or not. So this has unique solution case. So in one situation infinitely many then no solution unique solution last uh, possibility we are left with. So lambda is not equal to 6 mu is not equal to 16. You can see if lambda is not equal to see the, uh, 6 this is non-zero row again because of that fact this will be non-zero. So it means in both, uh, both, it means both uh, matrices rank of A is 3, rank of A augmented B is also 3 because this number is non-zero. Lambda is not equal to 6, it means 3 non-zero rows. So rank is 3. If both are same, equal to the number of unknowns, it means unique solution again. So in one problem, we first write the system of linear equations in Ax equal to b form. Then we converted it to upper triangular. It means below diagonal we made all the elements 0. And then on the basis of after making the system in upper triangular form, which is this form, I considered A separately, then A augmented B separately. The unknowns which were lambda and mu, I made all the cases, four possible cases we were having in this uh, uh, problem and on the basis of four problems I just checked in what condition ranks are same and equal to the number of unknowns, in what situations rank is not same for no solution and if rank is same and less than number of unknowns then infinitely many solutions. So in one question all the three situations we have discussed it means this question is just uh, uh, you can say comprising all uh, the complete topic the system of linear equations any type of system of linear equation you can solve if you got to know understood this topic or this question. So this is end of part 2 in part 1 and part 2 we did discuss system of linear equations first we understood the main concept theoretically and then we discussed two problems simple way. And in one problem which we did in part 2, all the, all the possible cases, no solution, infinitely many solutions and unique solution in, with the help of just taking one problem. If you want to study this topic, system of linear equations and this method is also called Gauss elimination method also. So if you want to study this method in detail, please refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box below. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe S. Chand Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates. Stay connected. Stay tuned. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.